The 2020 storm season is heating up. IAs who have plenty of adjuster licenses in key states will be the ones who deploy. Get complete exam prep and pre-licensing for your adjuster licenses, as well as affordable continuing education packages for every state at adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro. This is Adjuster TV News. Now on Adjuster TV News. The 2020 storm season is heating up with major storms, including an outbreak of tornadoes and large hail, plus the extended catastrophe adjuster weather forecast, a big job opportunity in Music City via PRG insurance recruiters, and Paysetter Claim Service partners with OnScene and Hover. And now for the big story. Here's our intrepid weather correspondent, Max Olson, dealing with the coronavirus in his own way. Come on. <sighs> Thanks, Matt. Max here with Adjuster TV, here with your quarantine update with the severe weather in the southeast last week, continuing possibly into the next week, and prolonged severe weather for the plains and southeastern states looks to be the main theme throughout the rest of April. Let's go ahead and take a look on the computer and see what's going on. All right, so let's first start here with the outbreak last weekend in the southeastern states. As you can see here, this broad moderate risk completely verified with over 150 tornado reports, two of those being long track violent tornadoes rated EF4 in southern Mississippi. Those didn't strike any very populated areas, though they mostly stayed out in the open, thankfully. We see a ton of wind reports, almost a thousand ranging from Louisiana all the way to Georgia and the Carolinas. So we are definitely going to see some claims coming from this just because it was such an expansive area that was affected by this storm system. Going back a little further than that, a few weeks, we had a big hail storm starting in the Oklahoma City metro area going and pretty much following along 44 to the northeast. It kind of avoided most, most of the major towns. Oklahoma City got some golf balls and then there were places in northeastern Oklahoma home and they got hit with baseballs, grapefruit size hail, but mostly smaller towns out there. Later that night, we had a big supercell roll through Jefferson City, Missouri, causing 2.5 inch hail in that area while people were sleeping. On April 7th, we had two long track storms producing hail, one starting in southern Wisconsin, working its way through northern Illinois, hitting Rockford hard and going all the way towards the Chicago suburbs. Further west, we had a large storm near Davenport producing big hail, and in Michigan, we had a few numerous storms with some sporadic large hail reports. The following day was an even bigger outbreak. Northwest flow, you get this large warm sector with a lot of cape, convective available potential energy is the technical term for it you can just think of it as juice in the atmosphere and when it's over that broad of an area you get a big severe weather outbreak like this and looking off into the future it looks like the active pattern is going to continue most of the global forecast models are showing a troughing pattern throughout the southern central united states it gets a little questionable towards the end there some models are showing that there's going to be a prolonged area of possibly severe weather outbreak towards the end of the forecast region in the southern and central plains some are saying that the jet lifts off further back to the north and we get into a more mid-range pattern now until that point we are still going to see some severe weather we're going to start off next week with an enhanced risk in the southern states hard hit just over a week ago we're going to be getting hit again unfortunately and then we might see some stuff kind of try and pop up in the southern and central plains we'll have to see on that stay tuned here at adjuster tv for the best weather updates for adjusters it's a little crazy with covid19 claims are kind of coming in a bit slower than usual it's hard to see exactly what the outcome of these severe storms is because it's kind of trickling in that's what i'm seeing here in oklahoma city and i've heard similar things from from people in Missouri and Illinois. I hope everybody's staying safe out there and thank you so much for listening in to this Adjuster TV weather update. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Max. Paysetter Claim Service, On Scene Incorporated, and Hover have teamed up to launch a claims management system that virtually connects all parties involved in the claim adjuster workflow through smartphones. The live claim solution will become the foundation of Paysetter's new and streamlined field adjustment workflow the Tulsa, Oklahoma-based property claims adjusting company said 
in a press release. OnScene provides the claims management program. Hover provides an app that gives exact dimensions of structures after ground level photographs are taken from each corner. And Pacesetter said Live Claims provides a personalized portal for each policyholder where they can monitor the status and details of their claim, view a detailed Hover property data package, which is auto-generated from the pictures taken from the adjuster's phone, track the adjuster's location and arrival time when they are en route for their scheduled appointment, receive automatic claim status notifications throughout the adjustment process, and participate and assist with their claims process by uploading photos, notes, and related documents. Our claims adjustment process prior to on-scene and hover involved several disconnected systems, did not effectively embrace the policyholder, and was inefficient, said Bill Brassfield, CEO of Pacesetter. Live claims allows us to virtually connect our field adjusters, desk adjusters, policyholders, and insurance clients to create a better experience, minimize the need for face-to-face -face contact during COVID-19 distancing, increase operational efficiency, and reduce the cost of our adjustment process. And finally, PRG Insurance Recruiters is seeking talented property people with two plus years experience for the greater Nashville area. There are several direct hire full-time openings for CAT homeowners claims adjusters. These are desk adjuster positions with high earning potential and healthy case loads. Field adjusters, desk adjusters, and IAs are encouraged to apply. The base salary starts from $55,000 to $58,000 a year. An annual bonus ranges from $15,000 to $20,000 a year, and there's $40 an hour overtime pay, which is anything over 40 hours per week. Also, there's a 6% 401k match, excellent health benefits, and an annual earning potential of eighty dollars to 90000 a year based on performance. To apply directly, please email justinh at prgir.com or call 949-587-5921. If you've got an announcement or story that you want independent adjusters to know about, get your message in front of more than 16,000 eyeballs every single month on Adjuster TV News. Visit adjustertv.com news for more information. Peace.